In this video, we're going to create a beautiful typographic design like this in Photoshop. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. So in this video, the only resource that I'm going to use is this background Ghana flag i'll try and include it in the description so that you can download it now let's get into photoshop and let's get started so first off what we're going to create is like a wallpaper so you need a specific size so let's go to file and then new i'm using photoshop cs6 but this should work for literally any other version of photoshop so i created a 1920 by 1080 pixels and then the resolution is 300 and then i click ok the next thing that i want to do is i want to bring in my background so this is going to serve as the background and i'm using this because of the upcoming elections for ghana so you know we all stand for peace it's peace that we want so once you bring this one in all that you need to do is right click rasterize your layer this looks very pale for me but it can as well maintain this if that is okay for you so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a bit of level so that it can be the the reds will show the greens will show that very much if you get a point that i'm trying to make so something like that and let me add a bit of saturation to it as well alternatively you can use anything like the solid background something like this if you want to use a plain background or you can use the gradients over here any one of them that works for you but like i said this is for the ghana election so i'm using this background now the next thing that we want to do is we want to type in our main test so there is a test within a test so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the test tool and i'm going to create a test the first font that i'll be using is a very bold font i want to use something very bold so i'm going to use hevetica inserat now i want to type piece here something like that and i want to open it up so i can press ctrl t to transform it and i just want to make sure that it is around 110 something very bold like that now let me go and change the font color to black and i can click ok and then i want to keep it left aligned that is because i want to keep the others left aligned as well so i press ctrl a and then i will center it and then you realize that the a has beautifully mixed with the star in the ghana flag let's quickly select the background and go to filter go to blur and then gaussian blur we're going to blur it up a bit something like that so you can increase the radius to about 9.8 according to what you're using this will not work for solid backgrounds or gradient so it only works when you're using a normal background like this now let's go back to the piece here and the reason why you see this as smaller test but this one comes in uppercase is that i have my toggle character here set to all caps so i want to type all my test in all caps so that it can at least be bold you see the smaller case sometimes becomes quite difficult to read so when it's uppercase it's easily noticeable all right so the next thing that we do is we're going to decrease the opacity of the piece the main test to about 80 percent or you can send it as low as you want but 80 percent since i'm using black worked so perfect for me now once you are done with that we're going to fill the entire piece here the entire test with different set of tests so i'm going to select my test tool again and i, I make sure that i don't write inside of the piece so i'm going to outside of the piece here somewhere on top there and then i can change my font to poppins and what we are going to do is we're going to change the color also to white so that it can be easily noticeable now what we are going to do is we're going to play around with the sizes so we're going to change some of them to be very small some of them will be big according to how you want to arrange it and also to make this quite very easier for me i had to just google up some piece synonym words so I got this piece synonym words that i'm going to copy and be pasting them so that it can be very easier for me 
so what i do is the first one that i'm going to type in here is ghana first and just know that the very keywords that you want to show up or you want it to pop up you have to make it very bold so in this case i'm going to select all of these and i'm going to change this one to semi bold or let's say very bold okay so that that one can show up very bold so i'm going to press ctrl t to transform it up and then this can be here so let me just center it and it says ghana first that is going to be the first test and afterwards you can make a duplicate ctrl j and then you can send it from this point onwards you have to be placing it according to how you want it so i can change this one to uh let's say semi bold here and then i can type in humanity or something like that any any word that comes to mind and then i can make another duplicate by pressing ctrl j i can bring this one here so i'm establishing the main key points that i want that is the main one so those are going to be the very bold ones and very big ones afterwards you can take time to make duplicates and then put in some small small words over there so here i'm going to type social media i'll make another duplicate ctrl j i can send it to this side and then i can type here harmony so something like that and then i can make another duplicate and then i can send it here press ctrl t right click and then i can flip it 90 clockwise so i can flip it like this and i can send it here i'll edit that to family so family so you see the the thing is about peace we are looking for peace for ghana and then all these words comes together to form what we are trying so social media we want harmony we want think of humanity think of your family before you try to get anything like violence out you should think of your family so under family we can have something like sister children so all these things will come around the family so over here i can come back to harmony make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j i'll send it here and then i can decrease it to be a bit smaller so something like that and i'll bring it here so under family we have let me go and change this one to medium we have children so you think of your children before you cause anything like violence and then you think of your wives or your old folks so old folks all of these are going to be and at one place you see all of them comes under family and that category so you can place all of them here and then you can make another duplicate of the women here drag it to this top and let's go into this test let's see some of the words that i got for uh peace and then you can go ahead and make the test some of the tests even very smaller so once you're done with everything you should have something like this this is actually what i took time to do the test that i inserted so once you're done with everything you should have something like this that is when you take your time to place everything at the right place you should have something like this so you can place some of the test here and there and then once you're done with everything all that you need to do is excluding the piece here the main test at the background you start from the first on top that is the ghana first and then you can select all of this so you hold shift and then you can select the last test on top and then you can press ctrl g to group this one and then you can take time to reposition this if you really want to do so so we move to the next stage that is we have all our tests here and to not lose focus or to lose track of this we're going to make a duplicate of the whole grouped test so you press ctrl j and then you make a duplicate and then you're going to turn this one off the main one you turn that one off go to the copied one right click on it and convert that into a smart object so once you convert that into a smart object it becomes just a complete layer you can right click on that and rasterize it and then you come back to your piece here we want to split the test that we've made here so you come to the piece at the very top of this t here you're going to hold control and then you're going to left click so it creates a selection for you or if you don't want to do that you can go to the t here right click on it and go to 
select pixel so it is going to make a selection of the piece only and then we come back to this particular test that we made and then we're going to pick any of the cutting tools that is the polygonal lasso or the magnetic lasso tool we're going to right click on that and then we're going to cut the layer so once we cut it we're going to have two separate layers so we have this one and then we have the one at the background so all that we're going to do is we're going to select the bottom one which is this one the copied one you see that or the cut the one that we just cut and then we're going to decrease the opacity very low like that something like this and then we can select our main one or let's go a bit down let's say 10 here and then we can select our main one which is the one inside of the piece and then we can set that also to about 90 percent now you can play around with the piece here the lower it goes sometimes the lower it goes the more it becomes beautiful so something like this 60 or 50 let me know in the comment section which one looks better for you so i decided to go with about 80 percent and this looks very good or let's even try 70 but the lower it goes sometimes the better it becomes and that'll be pretty much it for this video that is how to create this beautiful simple typography test in photoshop i hope you gained value from this if you did please hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification so that anytime there is a new upload you'll be the first person to get it before i go i want to leave this message for you when the power of love overcomes the love of power the world will know peace please go into the post station and cast your votes very peacefully don't let the love of power overrule the power of love don't let the love of your political party cause you to create violence remember peace is all that we want the peace that god has given us is above anything that we we would want as a country don't let the love of power cause you to create violence god bless ghana god bless you and i'll see you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye